Stop trying to avoid objections. There's two ways to overcome objections. There's the, what we call preemptive overcoming, which is we overcome the objection before the objection comes, which is what I'm going to talk about. And then there's the way that everyone talks about it. Grant Cardone, Gordon Belfort, that's post-emptively. That's customer objects. And then we try and get cute and say some one-liners and whatever, 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 and try and go for the deal again. And I'm telling you guys, overcoming objections post-emptively is the old school way that everybody talks about. Preemptively overcoming objections is actually what works. It's not overcoming objections. It's eliminating the objections. It's eliminating the objection before it even is an objection. All you got to do is you got to figure out the objections. And as you start doing deals, as you start going for closes, as you start getting into this, getting your feet wet, getting a couple bumps and bruises, start taking notes. Okay, I just lost that deal. What was the objection? Price. Okay, there's one next week. Okay, just lost that one. Got to talk to my partner. That's another one. Oh, this one right here. He wanted to talk to some of my customers. Oh, he didn't trust me. There's another one. Guys, the objections are always the same. So here's the question I want to pose to you guys. And I'm not going to go super, super, super in depth here because that's what I do inside the program. But I just want to give you guys the high overview, the high level overview so you guys can start to think about this differently. But let me ask you this. If you know the objection's going to come sooner or later, 100% guarantee objection's going to come. Why not handle it up front on your terms? Why not eliminate the objection up front instead of waiting for the customer to object and trying to backpedal and trying to say something cute and get the deal. Start running toward the objections and start thinking, how can I eliminate objections? Stop acting like if I don't bring it up, it's just going to go away. It's not going to happen. There are certain things that need to be said. There are certain conversations that need to be happening. There are certain objections that need to be overcome for the deal. And for those of you that are like, oh, but I got that one deal and he didn't ask me anything. Guess what? Here's something I learned. If you don't deal with stuff up front, guess what? you will deal with it at some point. And I'd rather deal with that bitch up front. Let me give you an example. I learned five years ago, whatever my first winter, that things get a little bit slower. It concrete leads have been flowing, flowing, flowing. It's winter, it's cold. Things get a little bit slower. And for the first couple of years, I was really, really slow to this. And I just, I, I wouldn't say anything. I would just like, I wouldn't say anything to customers. And guess what? Every winter, about end of November, I would start to get those phone calls. Nick, where's the leads? Where's the leads? Where's the leads? And every time I'm like, damn it. Every single time. So finally, I'm like, okay, I know this is gonna happen. I know that that's gonna be a little bit slow. So why don't I, when I close the deal, when everyone's excited, when everyone, they're pumped about doing business with me, why don't I just let them know up front, hey, Mr. Business Owner, let me tell you something. This is all fine and dandy. I'm gonna tell you right now in December, it might get a little bit slower because guess what? Have you heard of Christmas? Yeah, it's going to be Christmas. People are not as, as interested in getting their concrete poured as they are in the spring during spring cleanup. They're more interested in buying the latest Xbox, PlayStation, blah, 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 blah. All I had to do was say that. And I started saying that up front. And they're like, yeah, 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 I totally get it. So then I would say, here's the deal. When the leads, you know, they go through the roof in the spring, I'm not going to call you asking you for more money. All I ask is that in the winter, when things slow down a little bit, because inevitably they will, I'll all I ask is that you, Mr. Business Owner, don't call me asking me where the leads are because it's just part of the year. That's why we do the flat beat. And I just started saying that simple little sentence up front. And guys, the amount of calls that I eliminated, I rarely get a call, text, or anything. In fact, the last one that I got, let me just go ahead and tell you exactly what this person said. Check this out. I went from getting phone calls to now getting texts like this. December 13th, this is my client. This is the only thing I've heard this winter. I know it's the slow season, but calls have been really slow recently. Anything you guys can do, because I had the conversation up front, because I let the customer know up front that it was going to slow down, that's the shit that I get instead of, hey man, I'm gonna cancel because leads are slow. He knows it's the slow season. I told him it's gonna be the slow season. So now I just get a simple text and we message him and say, hey, let's see if we can bump up ads or whatever. So guys, I've been saying this phrase for the past year. I want you guys to think about this. The close is in the setup. The deal is not closed on the Zoom call. The close happens from the moment you call the customer until the moment you get on the Zoom call. 
a lot of us start, we think about it like, I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna close this guy. And that's the terminology we use. So we think that's gotta be some big, hairy, scary, built up thing. And I'm here to tell you guys, if you will start running towards objections, if you will start handling and overcoming objections before they even become objections, you will realize that that call, that closing call does not need to be a big deal. In fact, it shouldn't be a big deal. It should be a very casual, comfortable, fun, exciting conversation where you and the business owner talk together as partners about how you're going to conquer the local market. Not about going to war with, oh, it's six months and you have to do six months and all this stuff because we've already talked about it. So let me give you guys the strategy, the high level strategy of what we do in the program and what we teach. And that is a three step strategy. Number one is make a list of all possible objections. Sit down today and take a piece of paper and write down every possible objection you can think of. I got to talk to my spouse. I don't do contracts. I don't trust you. Whatever. Write all of them down. Any possible objection that you could think of, write it down. And then what I want you to do is step number two is I want you to think of, this is the key, how you can creatively eliminate that objection before it even becomes an objection. Think back to my example about the winter. I brought it up first. I told the business owner that it is going to be a little bit slower in the winter because guess what? It's Christmas. And guess what? It's not a big deal when we're talking about that in July. Or even if it's the middle of winter, we're talking about it and I let them know, hey, now, right now is a little bit of the slower time. You're going to see it's a little bit slower now, but trust me, in the spring, it's going to start to pop and I'm not going to charge you more money. Call out the elephant in the room. So step one is list all possible objections. Step two, find a way to creatively eliminate the objection before it becomes an objection. Whether that's via text, whether that's on the phone, whether that's on your screencast that you send before you close the deal. You don't know what I'm talking about. Get inside the damn Facebook group already. There's tons of gold in there you guys are missing out on. Number three, <clears throat> this is kind of a bonus tip. This is like a, a next level way to do this. And I could do an entire one hour live on just this strategy. This I've actually done a live on this strategy inside of Digital Land Lords. But here's a bonus tip. Use your current clients, or if you don't have current clients, use clients of somebody that you are a colleague with and use the stories of those clients as ways to eliminate those objections up front. Okay. And I know I might be losing you guys a little bit, but guys, obviously I share that kind of stuff inside the program. I'm giving you the high level stuff here. Again, let me repeat those. Step one, make a list of all possible objections, every possible objection you could think of. Step two, list next to it, a creative way to overcome that objection to eliminate that objection before it even becomes an objection. And bonus tip, use customer stories, or if they're not your customers, your friend or your colleague or somebody in your Facebook group, use one of their stories to overcome the objection because it sounds way better when it was my client, Bob, who, yeah, he actually didn't do contracts either. However, he discovered blah, 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 blah. Way easier when Bob says it than when I say it. Because when it's me, it sounds like, well, of course you're going to say that, bro. You want the deal. But if Bob says it, it's less confrontational. It's less in your face. So those are my tips. That's my strategy for overcoming. I don't care what the objection is. I eliminate objections. I don't sit and focus on how can I overcome objections? I think about this differently. I think about this. How can I just eliminate objections altogether? And guys, if you will do that, you will find that your closes will go from being these big, hairy, scary, nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating and I'm flustered. And this is awkward to, oh, I'm just jumping on this call. We're talking numbers. I'm getting his credit card details. We're signing the contract. If you will start eliminating objections up front, when you get on the close, closing call, you will know with 99.8% accuracy, whether you're getting that deal or not, you will know because you will have done it enough times. You will go, well, I overcame that one and I overcame that one and they overcame that one and they overcame that one. There's nothing left for them to object. There's nothing left for them to say. So I'm going to get the deal unless I'm just, I'm just missing something.